Welcome to CSEC Biology, the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson, and this is, of course, a place where life and environment is explained. Today, we're looking at the June July 2021 CXC timetable. And of course, many persons must be anxious as to what's the date for the exam. Now, we are assured that it's between June and July, of course, of 2021. And this information was, of course, released during the month of January 2021. The exact date will show you at the end of this presentation. But stay tuned as we move through the document to provide an overview of what is to be expected for the 2021 examinations and those exams will be june july not may june as would have been usual now you would have observed that so far you have been seeing the word draft on screen now here we are looking at the summary of the timetable you could log on to the csec uh, website and of course download a copy of the timetable for yourself so we're going to be looking at the subjects here and of course some key points at the end of this so the first we have here is additional maths paper one two and the alternative paper and the plus sign and the asterisk represents points that you will have uh, as footers so on the 14th of july uh, in the morning, a uh, one and a half hour exam will be for additional maths and paper two, which is, of course, on June 29, is going to be a two hour and 40 minutes exam. And there we have the alternative paper for July 14. We have agriculture science, and this is a single award with, of course, a paper one being on the 14th of July, one hour and 15 minutes. And it's general, the paper two being there on the 16th of June, and it's a two-hour exam. Agriculture, the double option, which is, of course, general, we have paper one, two, and the alternative paper, with two and three having footnotes. Now, for July 14, a one-hour and 15-minute exam will be the multiple choice. The paper two is going to be on the 16th of June. Of course, it's a two-hour exam, and the alternative paper, the 24th. And it's, of course, an even exam. You'd see PM there representing evening and AM representing morning. Biology, that's what everybody wants to talk about. Uh, paper 1 will be on the 13th of July uh, in the evening, 1 hour and 15 minutes. And, of course, paper 2 will be on the 28th of June in the morning. It's a two-and-a-half-hour paper. And the alternative paper is going to be on the 12th of July. It's a morning, 2 hour and 10 minutes. Then we're going to be having Caribbean history. The general paper, we have one, two, and, of course, the alternative paper. Uh, we're seeing some footnote there. So that's going to be for the 13th of July there. Then we have chemistry, one and two, being 16th of July in the morning. And, of course, the paper two, the 30th of June, of course, two and a half hours there. And the alternative paper, you can see on screen. You can pause at any time. We have economics there, well outlined. And we're now at electronic document and man preparation and management. And paper one being on the 9th of July, paper two being the 14th of June, and of course, alternative 9th of July. And there we have mo all morning exam, one and a half hour, two hour and 20 minutes, and of course, one hour and 50 minutes. English A coming up there, and English B, we have paper one and paper two, and we're seeing here English B has exam on the 18th and the 18th uh, for both papers will be on the 18th two hours and of course two hour and ten minutes evening and morning respectively and the alternative paper then we have uh frm that will be on the 8th of uh july and the 29th of june and the time there to decide you can look at your favorite exam and capture that bit of information now, I know that a lot of persons are concerned, but you can tell me in the comments, of course, whether you think uh, this is, of course, enough time for you to prepare for the exam. We're looking at French here. Uh, please be mindful that you are paying attention to the date for your particular exam and you're capturing it on screen. 
Remember, you can pause the video to capture your respective dates. Now, these are, of course, from CSEC. And if you look at the screen, we're looking at French there. We're looking at geography. And we're looking at paper one, two, and the three there represent the alternative paper. And the date is given, and you'll observe that it is in no particular order. Some exams are in the morning, while some exams are, of course, in the evening. We're also seeing orals. So you have to pay attention to that when you have your oral. That's very, very important. Human and Social Biology, paper 1 and 2, uh, July 12th in the evening, you'll be having a paper 1, and on the 30th of June, you will be having paper 2. You want to ensure that you pay attention to that. Then we have the Industrial Technology, and a whole host of exam coming up there with a paper 1 on the 8th of July. Uh, we have the 30th of June, 24th of June, and the 15th of June for a couple of exams. Look at your particular exam and capture the information there. Then we have information technology with one, two, and the alternative paper, the 6th of July, the common date here. PM, of course, is an evening paper for the multiple choice, uh, a morning paper for the paper two, two hours for paper two, one hour and 15 minutes. For the paper one integrated science another one coming up there pay attention to it it's one of the science you have one two three the alternative paper the 9th of july and 5th of july 8th of july uh respectively mathematics coming up there that is also something all students want to pay attention to then we have music and of course that is general paper one and two the second and of course 14 to 25th being days for practical examination period and then we move on down to office administration, which is another exam you want to pay much attention to, as it has paper 1, 2, and 3. And of course, they come up on the 2nd of July. And there we had the footnotes. Make sure that you're paying attention to the footnote. You can pause the video and go right back to the footnote to see what those asterisk and the plus sign meant. Physical education and sports as a general paper which is of course paper one and two the 29th of june for the uh it's a pm exam two hours and 40 minutes and from the first to the 25th of june will be the practical examination period physics comes up there right after and of course we have portuguese coming up right after there after physics and of course make sure that you pause to capture your respective exams uh principles of accounts Paper 1, 2, and 3 alternative. There are common papers, of course, for the 21st of June, having exam there in the evening, the morning, and the evening, the multiple choices in the evening, and, of course, a three-hour paper for the morning, paper 2. And then we have principles of business coming up on the 1st of July, common day there. Then religious education is coming up right behind it, and, of course, capture the information there on your screen. Social studies with paper one, two, and three alternative paper common for the 17th of June with the time being evening, morning, and evening. You want to pay attention to that. Spanish coming up with paper one, two, and three alternative 15th of July, 28th of June, 1st to the 16th of June for the oral uh, oral examination. You really don't want to miss your or oral examination. It's very important for you to get that one for this subject. Then you have technical drawing paper one and two for the 16th of July and the 16th of June. And of course, those papers, the morning paper will be a hour and 15 minutes and the AIM paper, uh, both AIM papers, paper one and paper two, but at different dates. Uh, you want to ensure that you consult with your teachers to ensure that all is pretty much in place for this exam meaning that the SBAs have been done and you are, of course, practicing for the exam. Then we have textile, clothing, and fashion. That exam comes up on the 16th of July and the 14th of June, paper 1 and 2. Make sure you're paying attention to the screen so you can capture the date and pause the screen at whichever time you prefer. Theater Arts comes up with paper 1 and the alternative paper and the time there on your screen nicely from the CXC. The document belongs to the CXC. Now, we have the footnote here. It talks about alternative papers for the asterisk. And, of course, the plus sign suggests that we should see the notes to the table. And that comes up right after all of these tables. Visual Arts is there. And this is a very wonderful exam with uh, paper 2. 
on the 2nd of June and 16th of June and you're seeing the exam there. It's a different exam than most exams. So you want to ensure that you capture the date nicer that you really don't miss the exam. Now note to 2021 timetable first thing we're going to be looking at is the asterisk number one it in indicates a common paper number two the time indicated on the timetable includes reading time and of course 10 minutes reading time and 10 minutes to warm up on the computer prior to the start of the examination for electronic document preparation and management paper two and of course the alternative paper and then bullet three speaks to the start time for all centers within the territory and the start time there is nine in the morning if it's a morning exam and if it's an even exam it's going to be at 1 p.m so 9 a.m for the start time for your exam and 1 p.m for the even exam if at any center the number of candidates is greater than can be accommodated in one session the local registry may arrange to administer the examination two or more sessions ensuring that suitable arrangements are made to preserve the integrity of the examination so don't be panic if you were supposed to go to the exam and there's more persons than room and chairs that will be uh, taken care of by the local offices now for French Portuguese Spanish oral paper tree in each territory will be conducted during the period of the 1st to the 16th of June in accordance with the local registrar's schedule so of course your regional office there the local office will of course provide you with the lineup for those practicals then bullet five speaks to the practical examination in physical education and sports we're going to be looking at paper two in each territory will be conducted during the period the first to the 25th of june in accordance with the local registrar schedule make sure that you are following these dates now six visual arts a common paper containing all option will be issued candidate will be required to choose two production papers from the options below so first we have drawing we have painting and mixed media graphic and communication design and then we have their print making a whole lot of topics there to choose from and you want to ensure that you have these papers and you are practicing now that the timetable is out and you know what will be on the exam you have textile and design and manipulation sculpture and ceramics uh, leather craft fiber and decorative art you want to ensure that you are practicing for the areas that you are supposed to be doing and that will of course be supervised by your teachers at your respective school now candidate must select for the final examination those two option for which SB assignments have been done so you want to ensure that whatever practical you did you are selecting those for your exams just the same the test paper is to be handed to the candidate on Wednesday the 2nd of June the examination must be completed during the period the 16th of June to the 2nd of July now all the options are six hour papers and should be divided into two three hour session with a break not less than one hour between session these two sessions need not be held on the same day so this is a bit of instruction there in Jamaica we talk about you're supposed to know your right so getting the exam you know exactly what is required of you and of course you could also assist with what is required so you will be prepared for the exam because you're studying and you're studying really really hard because we're not going to be relying on that old uh, saying that it is covid i am out of school so i'm going to be a failure no we're not going to be failing we're going to be preparing we're going to be preparing we're going to be preparing and uh, we're sure that we are going to be doing well because we are competing with the world we're not competing with ourselves so we can't continue to go back into that shell to say that I am not going to do well uh, CXC should do this or the government should do that we have to now think about what is it that we have to do for ourselves to ensure 
that we pass that examination. They were paid for. All candidates will be required to submit a reflective journal. Of course, this is for visual arts. This must be submitted at the same time as the production piece. So there we have a whole lot of guidelines. I suggest to you as, as soon as you would have gotten this timetable that you start that dialogue with your teachers, your school, to ensure that all is in place that you can, of course, ace this exam, get the one for the exam. We are not giving up. We can, we will. We're gonna be putting in that work. We're gonna be digging in our toes to ensure that we come out victorious this exam will not have us down we will tell the story of covid and our success in csec years to come our children will have to sit and listen that listen to me it doesn't matter how difficult things are we can of course uh, prevail all paper one examination are multiple choice in format except that in visual arts a paper one examination for Physical education and sport will consist of a multiple choice component and a structured component. The practical examination in music paper 2 in each territory will be conducted during the period of 14 to the 25th of June in accordance with the local registrar schedule. So of course you want to ensure that you get those fingers moving uh, whatever it requires for you to do this practical examination so you'll be successful. Nine, attention is drawn to the rule that silent non-programmable -pro scientific calculator may be used in the following examination. Additional mathematics, agriculture science double option paper two and paper three. Agriculture science single award uh, paper two only chemistry, economics, and the list, of course, continues. So you want to ensure that you have that calculator. You are able to use a calculator long before the examination. Nobody will be in the examination to teach you how to use that calculator. And be reminded that you're not allowed to borrow anything for the examination because of COVID. So we really don't want to be passing on any virus for the examination if we're going to be having a paper that we'll have to sit in front. So we'll have to think about economics, geography, uh, industrial technology. We're looking at building and furniture, industrial technology, looking at electric, electrical and electronics and mechanical engineering, integrated science, single award, mathematics paper two, and the alternative paper, office administration paper two, and the alternative paper, physics principles of accounts and of course principles of business the alternative paper only of course here you'd realize that there's a long list of exams that you'll be able to use a calculator in and the good thing about this is that you're now getting this in an audio video format that you can listen and watch and be prepared for the exam technical drawing paper two you will also be able to use a calculator 10 the use of geometry set mathematical uh, instruments uh, is permitted in biology paper two, geography paper one, two and the alternative paper, maths paper two and the alternative paper, and social study, the alternative paper. So you want to ensure that you have your, your geometry set, you want to ensure that you have your instrument and you want to carry a piece of string in that exam for the biology should you have to draw something that is curved now 11 information technology paper 2 the subject will be offered at general proficiency level only it is not a practical examination no computer workstations will be required number 12 the alternative paper to sba in biology chemistry integrated science and physics is a practical examination laboratory facilities will be required number 13 candidates taking the technical drawing paper 2 card option on 16th of june should be given additional time for printing at the end of the examination so the end of the examination you will be doing the printing and of course time is allotted for that candidates will be required to have earphones earphones or headphones for the paper one examination in theater arts so of course make sure you have all this ensure that the earphone is working properly you understand how it should work at least go to the center 
and have your teachers help you to prepare using that earphone. Some persons are not so uh, familiar using earphones. Some of the earphones tend to fall from the ears. So ensure you have a suitable earphone for the exam so that you will not be bothered in the exam of learning to manipulate the earphone. 15, the alternative paper to SBA paper 3.2 must be written by private candidate who opt not to complete the SBA assessment paper one and alternative must be written in the same session with a 15 minutes break between them, except in case of a science subjects, mathematics, English A and English B, where the papers are administered on different days, paper one must be written before paper, before the alternative paper. Paper one and the alternative in this examination have been scheduled as follows. So we're going to be giving you a long list of date and subjects as to when these papers will be written. So for social study will of course be on the 17th of June, principles of accounts the 21st of June, economic the 29th of June, principles of business the 1st of July, office administration the 2nd of July, Theatre Arts, the 5th of July. Information Technology, the 6th of July. And we are being reminded here that this is a draft from the CXC. Of course, we want this to reach all students, so we are doing all that we can to lend a helping hand. Electronic Document Preparation and Management is for the 9th of July. Caribbean History, the 13th of July. Additional Mathematics, the 14th of July. Geography the 15th of July, and let's look at bullet number 16, Industrial Technology Paper 1 is a common paper to all three options, building and furniture, electrical and electronics, mechanical engineering. The paper 2 is a separate paper for each of the options. Candidates are permitted to register for all three options at any one sitting. 17 candidates who register for English A paper, the alternative paper, and English B, the alternative paper, during the same sitting will be required to write only one examination since both papers will be offered as a common examination. I hear somebody saying, hey, hey, for the alternative paper there, but make sure that you are prepared that that AA hey, hey, will, of course, continue through collecting your exam results. Of course, this document was, of course, released on the 27th of January, 2021. So it's probably the most current timetable at this time. We're in February. So, of course, you want to ensure that you are prepared for the exam. There's nothing else to look at at the bottom of the document here, but to be reminded that this is a draft of the timetable, still a draft. As we move closer to the examination, things might change, but we want to ensure that we are constructing that preparation on this platform for the exams that comes up in June, July. Make sure that you're ready for the exam, and of course, make sure that that conversation is had about passing, practicing, be it online, be it on face-to-face. Uh, -face. Make sure that, of course, your local body would have had this all well arranged and you are ready. Big thank you to those persons who have been watching the ads on the channel.